Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It's Moses, and welcome back to another Sims 4 house build. Um, so this is going to be in a little bit of a different format as to the usual, and it's going to be a smaller kind of house as well, but it's it's just to kind of compensate for the new format, so if it doesn't work, at least it's not this extraordinarily stressed out video. Um, so let's just uh, hop right in and uh, get straight to the build. Um, so the idea I have is this uh, Italian villa kind of style. Um, I kind of stole the design a little bit from the way that my friend's house looks. Uh, I actually stayed with him um, during the lockdown. Uh, so this is slightly a lot of different changes, but like the overall kind of shape, it, it looks a lot like this. So. Hmm, okay, I think this is a decent enough shape for now. I know it looks a little bit weird, okay, but let's just also... How do I move everything? Uh, moving on to here, I'm going to try to have a spiral staircase uh, going upstairs, because that's kind of what they have as well. Um, a little bit more limited in The Sims, but we'll manage, I'm sure. So let's just get the tiles of the main room. Actually, you know what? Let's just finish the overall shapes. Okay, so we've got something that looks a little bit like this. I'm not too sure about the shape of the roof. Uh, something does look a little bit off, but let's just ignore that for now. Uh, Italian villas, we've obviously got these orange tiles. Uh, just do that, and uh, let's just get a proper looking wall color. I'm not sure which one would be best. Okay, we're kind of close, although I do feel like it's still a little bit too dark. So, again, let's make it a shade lighter. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I just wanted to fix up the roof a little because I was struggling my ass off to uh, get it to just look a little bit nicer than what it was before. Uh, so I Kind of got something going here. I think it works. It, it should work. I hope it works. Uh, <laughs> but um, in any case, I also just added a uh, little sim here because we're going to need to obviously adjust lighting and so forth. So there we go. Okay, so we've got the color. We've got the roofing, which I think is fine for now. Uh, but let's just quickly deal with this outside area real quick. So I want to have something along the lines of this. Uh, for sure, just kind of going down. I'm not too sure how far yet. We'll just drag it all the way, and then um, I think it was this. Just try and get this tile. Is this what I? This is this is what I want, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's just let's just leave it at that, and then finish it off. There we go. I think that looks perfectly fine. I again, I, you know what? I might as well do that all the way. Um, we'll see how it looks. So I, I picked this island, by the way, to build on just because it's the perfect size. I need 20 by 20 and Italian villa on an island doesn't seem like the worst case scenario. Let's let's try and just get a half wall up here. I think this is very tight. hope so. We might as well just attempt this right now. It's going to be not a fun thing to do. Um, but we're going to have to do it. So I think it's about here because it's, I think, level to this, more or less. And then I want to, I know there's no such thing as vines, but I think I saw a tree that can kind of help me achieve what I want to do here. Not that one. Uh, where, what? There we go. I think it was this. I don't know if we can do this. Okay, so we're gonna push this up. Obviously push this up. And then just drag that up. There we go. Because this needs to line up with the pillar. And then just get rid of this here. Uh, okay, so we've got like this little uh, roofing thing now going on. Um, and then what needs to happen on top of this is a bunch of these things. Okay, and we're back. And I th think this is perfect. I think so. 
um, we might want to just create like a wooden ledge. I think it's these things here. And there we go. We've got a nice looking kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know what this is called. Um, perfect. Okay, I've taken the liberty to just add us some windows already. Just to get a little bit of light in here because it was quite dark. Um, so now we need to get a floor similar to the one he had, sort of, not all the way, but I think, to be honest with you guys, this one might just do the trick. So let's actually just get to the kitchen, because this is going to be, I think, easy enough to do, because the layout is just perfect for it. Can I go three, I should go three across, right? I think that ought to be fine. And also, let's get counters in here. So I want to get a fridge in here. I'm going to just use this one. This is my favorite fridge. Like, I don't like this one. It's too bulky on the doors. I think this one is the perfect one. Because the one he has in his house, I can't explain to you guys how many times I hit my head on the corner of this. It made me insane. Absolutely insane. So I'm going to just move it. This needs to actually go because we don't have one of these yet. I have the perfect idea for a window here. Let me just flip you around. There we go. Okay. Let me just see the color. Do we like this color? I think we do. Okay. I think these work perfectly. And oddly enough, they are actually a very similar shape to the ones that my friend has. They're just completely wood though. And these are cushioned. I think I'm going to put it there for now. Um, Let's just, yeah, let's just leave it there for now because I, I think I want something else in this corner. This might work, but do, do we want it here? It's, it's getting a little bit much, isn't it? This could work. Let's just see if we... And we're back. And I have made uh, one or two just slight adjustments. Um, <clears throat> one of them being I just kind of changed the floor to the one we... Uh, I think initially looked at, and I prefer this. I think it works better, especially with the black countertops. And we just changed the windows uh, a little bit. Let's go over what we've done here. So we've just kind of pushed this out, uh, this uh, island counter, just kind of pushed it along one block. So it's a little bit closer to the door, but it does give the kitchen space. Um, so yeah, we've pushed that out. We've kind of added a lot of clutter items. And um, I've also gone and done this in the corner over here, which is like adding this, um, I guess, an open pantry sort of. Uh, it's just got a lot of stuff in. And then here at the back, we've, you know, just gone and added also a few more clutter things. Um, obviously something for fire. I've added the staircase. It uh, was a little bit tricky to play with this because like it <laughs> stairs are weird. But uh, I've got it working. It's here, it's in. We are good to go. Okay, I think we managed to fix the window situation. Um, so this is pretty much what it looks like from the outside. From the inside, it's a bit hard. I mean, kind of look at it from this angle. I think that looks quite cool going up the stairs. Nice big window there. I like it. The thing is, I don't have a particular style in mind at the moment for for this room. Do we want anything in particular? I would love to use this at some stage. This uh, specific would actually work like such a charm in this corner. Ooh, that is a tough decision. Okay, we're going to leave that. Let's get rid of this. Be gone temptation. Okay, so looking at it like this, the problem I'm having with what's currently going on here is that there's like a huge blend of colors um, or lack thereof. So everything just blends in except for this ugly fireplace. But like I said, we'll f deal with this guy kind of last. Okay, so I've looked through a few of them and I think so far this one might be the best one to use. We're just going to... I think we're going to just stick with this for now. Okay, so we're back. And uh, <laughs> I did a little bit more than just find the theme. I just went nuts. I went nuts with the plants here. Like, this is something I find myself enjoying is um, 
always like cluttering a corner or something somewhere with just a lot of plants. Um, so I hope it looks cool. I think it does. I think it looks awesome. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, what we need in here now is uh, some lighting. Um, I had an idea to put like some sort of candle thing up here. There's the option of books, although these are too small to... Ooh! As I said that. Oh, I like that. Although I think I'll put this here. That's actually perfect. Wow, okay. Happy accidents. Um, but there's something else. It's also like a, a row of books. Okay, perfect. Um, so I've got Theo over here to come and light us a fire. I'm quite liking this. Like it's uh, it's very cozy. There's a lot of plants here. I've went and dropped a curtain here in the back just to kind of fill up this side. I obviously don't have all the packs. Uh, the idea is to get more as as I you know ease back into this. Um, but for now, we'll just have to make do with um, what there is. I think our next room should maybe be the bathroom here downstairs i kind of want this to be very open um not those doors probably something like this or i should actually stick to stick to these this is quite a a lot of these vines i know um but I think for now it looks quite cool. Although we might actually have a problem because I have a plan for this section here that requires a window. But you know what? We'll fix that when we get there. Um, I think before we do the toilet, let's start with the basin. What kind of basin is this? This is also new to me, <laughs> this basin. Yeah, so sorry if I... Okay, anyways. Okay, so I disappeared for just a moment. Uh, because the shape of everything here just wasn't quite working for me. Um, so we just made a few adjustments, um, kind of altered the rooms, laid them out so long. And uh, yeah, this is, where, this is where we are. So we were going to do the bathroom, things changed. And here we are. This I like. The wood is just matching everything. Um, okay, surfaces, we're going to need something on the side of the bed here. I think this could actually work because it's like a light color going into another light color. We're getting somewhere. Let's uh, let's decorate. Obviously, it's going to be this. Okay, so I just made one of the coolest dis discoveries ever, which is probably so obvious to I think a thousand other people. Um, but I had never considered scaling lights, which means something like this we could take and just. You know, now we've got this tiny little light here. How cool is that? And then I'll see in a moment whether or not I actually want to keep that there. Um, let's get just a, maybe a rug or something of this sort in here. Uh, I think this could work. Possibly. You know what? I'm having second thoughts about these lights. Okay, this was close, but it's a no. I think this might be what I'm looking for. As you all know, it's my favorite painting. Maybe I overuse it, but I, I do think this is a good spot for it. And it even looks like it could have been right here. So I think I'm going to just leave that for now. Um, there's a few things I do want to change, but you know what? Let's carry on to the bathroom. How much? Ooh. We had a very similar looking one in, in my parents' house. The one like this. So you know what? I think I'm going to use this one. The bathroom is a little bit dark, and also we could use a rug. And I think I'm going to go for one of those, if I could find it, one of these. See, this is the color it should be, right? And then you actually put it... <sighs> I think we've got something we can work with here. Um, wow, that was driving me up the wall. Um, so I hope this works. I kind of like the orange here. It just gives a little bit of a bang to such a um you know plain looking bathroom i think the gold here and the kind of like orangey gold also links up quite well okay perfect i think we're done here i um this was a little bit in the way so i just obviously had to move it um but there we go so um, we're gonna have to use this space wisely i was thinking of something like um 
big desk. Okay, I can do with that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, some lighting, maybe. I'm thinking of the um, standing lamp. Okay, let's just see. Nothing? I will make you fit, friend. I think this might be hovering. Can't tell. In which case, I think it's fine to use, right? I don't like the base. Like something you'd see in a restaurant only. Let's take this one. Right? It works, I think. We might have to change the uh, table though. I'm going to leave it at 3 because otherwise it gets a little bit too crowded in here. Okay, so a quick little update. Uh, I changed, as you may have noticed, the floor. I'm going to leave it the wooden floor for now because it also went and made this look way better. Now the table being black actually is a bonus uh, and not a downside. So. I think we're going to stick with the wooden floor, and uh, I think we're ready to go upstairs. But yeah, I completely derailed there while I was thinking of things to do, and ended up with this. It looks cool, though. It really adds a lot. Cool, and then I've kind of done this. I don't know if that works. Obviously going to be wood, right? In fact, I think get the correct wood right off the bat. Oh, my word. Wow, okay. That was easier than I thought. So it's settled. We're going to use that there. I'm just going to try to stick with that for now. To make up for that empty space there, we can slap in a mirror. Put the usual things up, such as towels, etc. I'm not actually sure how I've never seen this shelf thing before, but it's a perfect fit. And, uh, of course, gotta have some bamboo. Okay, maybe adding these two here. I think I prefer this, to be honest. I think that we are ready to move to the next room. Okay, so the idea behind this one, I think I wanted to do some sort of kid's room because I've, I've only really ever done like one of these. This is a pretty nice bed um, with the drawers and all. I was thinking of just using this. Okay, so we've got this. We want like beanbag kind of things here. Oh, but while we're here, actually, I want, yes, I want one of these little gaming consoles. Shall we use this? It's too much, isn't it? Ooh, like a big toy or something like that. Definitely a giant llama and a dinosaur. No doubt about it. No, 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 no. Uh, I just realized we don't have space for a cupboard yet. For the sake of keeping the cool fishbowl, do it again. I'm going to quickly scan around, just make sure that everything is done that needs to be done, and then I think we just have the outside left. Now, there's nothing special about this garden. It's just going to be a few minor things here and there so i think i won't fully record all of that okay so going around the outside of the house um just a few shrubbery and vines and things like that going around the back just a pretty cool tree standing here relatively nicely lit uh, want to go too crazy because it's not like people actually have that many lights so just to get a quick overview of the house we're just gonna slide through all of these uh, screenshots uh, that i've taken um, so here we have our uh, setting room and moving on to the kitchen already like i <laughs> said it's going to be quick um, the back of our kitchen our little sitting room area which turned out quite nicely i think uh, the downstairs bedroom, as well as the downstairs bathroom and the study. Then our stairs going up. I uh, love the whole spiral thing. First time I've done it, turned out fantastic. Uh, the child's bedroom. Wish I had a room like that growing up. Uh, the master bedroom. as well as the balcony of the master bedroom. Amazing view, as well as this bathroom that I just love as well. 
and top-down views of the house. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this video. I will check you guys in the next one. This is Moses getting ready to bounce.